Bitcoin bulls make a heroic move, breaking huge resistance. And now the targets to the upside might surprise you. What is up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit that like, hit the subscribe, turn the notification bells on. Let's jump into the Bitcoin video. Here it is, Bitcoin on the weekly. One thing to note, we are less than a day into the new weekly candle. It is green. This is good. So in terms of where we are in this bull cycle, and I've just been noting this a lot because I think there's a lot of people coming into crypto right now, coming into Bitcoin. In terms of where we are, last bull cycle, we're comparatively right around here. It's give or take. This isn't exact, but that's essentially where Bitcoin is right now. And in terms of what Bitcoin has accomplished from a bull cycle standpoint, there's the bull market high of 2017 to the bear market that we survived that just feels like yesterday. And this is Bitcoin, that green channel right there, entering the bull market just in November. So this thing kind of just getting started, What's, what's crazy is this is a monthly chart. And if you look at the monthly chart, if I remove that, you can just see it has just been green candle after green candle after green candle. Now last bull market, you can see mostly green candles there as well. So that's not out of the ordinary. Uh, but as we start digging in on the charts, there's some things we can really take note of. And that is number one, there was this very parabolic move in kind of the summer of 2019 that Bitcoin was making. And we began comparing that move uh, to the move that started right here in October. And as we entered the bull market right, you know, right here in November, we start, we really were just tracking the higher highs and higher lows for Bitcoin. And we were saying, well, if we get to this parabolic move similar to the swing high that Bitcoin had in the summer of 2019, is Bitcoin going to do the same thing it did, which was just, you know, not good. It was bearish consolidation for a while. And we said, you know, if we're in a bull market this time, this should not happen. And this was that swing high that we were anticipating. And it just overshot that trend line 40,000. And this was the move we were waiting for is was this it Bitcoin going into this long consolidation pattern similar to what happened then. Now, Bitcoin bulls have defied that trend, meaning we got a bounce, right? And this is the daily chart. So we got that bounce off the 50 day moving average, this blue line here, and we continued into this bull market. And then again, we hit the trend line most recently just below. We've consolidated just above the 50 day moving average. And right now we are tracking the continuation of the bull market. This trend line, very interesting. We're going to revisit that uh, in a couple minutes. Before we do, I want to jump into the hourly chart and I want to start with a video from February 27th, two days ago. Can Bitcoin turn this into kind of a busted falling wedge where it's just kind of a fake breakout? We always look for pullbacks after we break trend lines, just in case Bitcoin has that, that bullish energy to kind of basically break this pattern, trade back in the apex and break to the upside. That happens often for Bitcoin. It happens often in volatile environments. So now this has transpired. This has transpired. That's why in the intro I said this was a heroic move for Bitcoin because, and this is why you, we have to be very careful with trend lines and patterns and the initial breaks because you can see Bitcoin broke this trend line and that trend line is basically charted from a swing low, swing low, and the trend line is there. Now, you can very simply, if you want, just move that down and say, okay, there. And we, we don't do that very often at all. I like to leave trend lines because this is just set data and it offers us true guidance into what Bitcoin is doing and what the markets are doing. And this is what the markets did. We broke the trend line and the bulls really stepped in at this swing low. And it wasn't really too big of a break to the downside, but it was a break nonetheless. And if we talk about falling wedges, and this is why we have to be careful with trend lines and patterns. And when I say be careful, meaning if Bitcoin's just breaking below this trend line, and this is an hourly chart, you don't automatically get bearish. You have to wait. You have to see what Bitcoin's going to do. And even if Bitcoin came down a little bit more, you want to wait to see if we get this break back above the trend line. The reason for that is because based off of, and I'll put a link in the description in the pattern site. This is Bolkowski. I use a lot of his data. I, I adjust it some to, to 
compensate for the volatility of Bitcoin, but based on his data, and in this case, 800 perfect trades and falling wedges, uh, pullbacks occur 74% of the time. Meaning, if Bitcoin is breaking the lower trend line, it pulls back 74% of the time. And at that moment, you, you have to watch to see what Bitcoin does or whatever your trading does at that trend line. Because if, if Bitcoin's coming down and then we're breaking back into the apex, kind of like we were mentioning in that video, this could turn into a busted pattern, which is extremely bullish. Hence my intro, a heroic move for Bitcoin, because from that swing low to where Bitcoin is right now, we are looking at uh, currently a move of 14%. So where does that leave us right now? Well, we're not out of the woods. Number one, the pattern uh, target for right, right around this swing high of $55,000, that is very much in play right now. That's that's the first thing. First things first. Now, besides that, there's a journey for Bitcoin to to get there, right? Because from that swing low to that target, Bitcoin is looking at a move of 27%, and along the way, there may be some volatile swing lows now. And so, what we analyze is our Fibonacci retracements, the areas we really want to see Bitcoin break. The first area is this last trend line touch, this lower high on this falling wedge to this last swing low of the falling wedge and bitcoin is is in it right now so on the hourly chart today we really want to just watch and see how bitcoin interacts with this entire area which is right around fifty thousand one thirty one to right around forty eight thousand six fifteen give or take so that's the area bitcoin is right in the middle right now what happens here is there resistance and resistance isn't necessarily a bad thing we might get a swing low back to the trend line. We could be in the 46,000s by the end of the day, testing a higher low area, which isn't a bad thing on its way to higher highs and higher lows. Now, the bullish environment in which Bitcoin seems to trade and move uh, very much it could allow Bitcoin just to kind of keep putting in these hourly candles. We break through this Fibonacci retracement, and then we have our pretty much our last... Uh, area that we really want to watch for resistance which is the swing high which is the all-time high around fifty-eight thousand dollars or so to our ultimate swing low and you can see our larger fibonacci retracement and this really gives you some context of what to watch for this won't be the last time we probably talk about this area this is a resistance area right around fifty-two thousand uh fifty-two thousand five hundred to uh this seven eight six line up here right around fifty-five thousand that is a, an even larger resistance area. What you can notice is this 786 line at the top is just about our target for Bitcoin. So definitely you can anticipate some resistance in that area. But what I want to talk about now is, you know, that's our, those are our targets to the upside. We have to see how Bitcoin interacts with these resistance areas in the meantime. I wouldn't be too fearful of higher highs and higher lows, meaning we get these bounces and we're getting volatility on the way up. That is very normal for Bitcoin. But I want to go back to this chart now. Now, this is that trend line we were talking about. And it's really cool that it's continuing to add uh, just context to our charts. We can always revisit this every once in a while as Bitcoin interacts with this trend line. And this is really the true bull story of higher highs and higher lows on the daily chart. But you can see Bitcoin. And here is that here's that Fibonacci resistance, the large resistance channel that we just talked about on the hourly. There it is on the daily. Bitcoin broke a similar uh, similar resistance area on the daily charts coming out of our swing low in January. So we're in a very similar move right now. Just take note of you know the volatility of along the way Bitcoin getting there. It took days. It took like a week for Bitcoin to break this area. So I wouldn't automatically anticipate Bitcoin's going to break this today. If it does. It wouldn't surprise me. It would be ridiculous. It would happen extremely quickly. And there would be some very, very bullish YouTube videos, probably including mine. Um, but just anticipate that this might take a few days for Bitcoin to break this area up here to 55,000. But what did Bitcoin do? Bitcoin broke that Fibonacci resistance. It made its way to the 1618 line. And we got some consolidation just below it again for around a week or so and that 1618 line was around fifty thousand dollars this time around the 1618 line right around sixty eight thousand dollars and yes everybody that's a new higher high target for bitcoin 
in this bull market. And not only did Bitcoin hit the 1618 line last time, but obviously Bitcoin made its way to that upper trend line. So is this an environment where Bitcoin's going to make its way up again into the 70,000s, the mid 70,000s, 80,000 area to this upper trend line? Is that the move that's happening right now for Bitcoin? I know it sounds extremely bullish, but if I would have told you at this swing low, coming out of this swing low at 30,000, that Bitcoin was about to make a move around to 60,000, that would sound ridiculous. And it happened, and it happened very quickly. Um, it happened in less than a month. So charting what this might look like coming out of this swing low, we can really get a similar sense of the possibilities. Now, swing low to swing high, the, the last move that Bitcoin made in this kind of parabolic trend line move looks something like this. And you can see how this might play out for Bitcoin. Now, the thing is, as Bitcoin gets more parabolic and it gets further into this bull market, these moves might extend a little bit. They might come out, they might draw out a little bit, right? So this isn't exact, this is very speculative, but this gives you an idea of the bullish potential for Bitcoin in this environment that it's in right now. And that environment is the bull market. And you can see it illustrated very nicely on this monthly chart. On this monthly chart, I'll leave you with this. Bitcoin is overbought on the RSI. But I just wanted to show you, look how long Bitcoin was overbought, even with some consolidation along the way on the monthly chart. Bitcoin was overbought for a while uh, in the last bull market. And Bitcoin kind of just entering that area right now. There could be a lot of time left for this bull market. Also note the stock RSI down here, this quicker moving momentum, momentum oscillator just entering overbought area. In the last bull market, it was up there for a while. So this is Bitcoin. This is the state of Bitcoin right now. We're going to have to continue to track Bitcoin. Here it is on the hourly chart right now, testing resistance. Don't be surprised if Bitcoin comes back down and tests a trend line or something and we're in the 46,000s. But what we'd really want to see is Bitcoin continue through to 50,000, 50, uh, break that $50,000 786 resistance, continue to the upside and maybe start seeing that for support to the upside. We'll track it. We'll see. I appreciate you cruising by. Hit that like, hit the subscribe, turn the notification bells on. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.